Oh, but give me one sec. Okay. Okay, so as you know, I am Lyric, aka Lala, whatever your preference is. Um, so for you guys who received your packages of these paints, I tried them out and they are pretty liquidy. So, you know, the cost of the paint matches the quality, but we can do some things to try to thicken it up. Okay. Um, so today we are clearly going to be working on our canvas. Do you have your canvas in front of you? I don't know if you wanted to use a smaller one or the eight by 11. You ladies have your canvas? I have a um um uh what's it called a sketchbook for right now. Okay, you have a sketchbook. How do you yeah. pronounce your name? I'm sorry. Um Natasia, but um you guys can call me Tazi. Tazi, okay, cool. All right. So no, a sketchbook is good. Do you happen to have some paints on you or no? Maybe not. Um, I think my little brother has some. I can ask him. Okay. And Naima and sister. Um, do you happen to have any extra paint? Like any extra, like maybe thick paint or anything? Oh yeah, we have a little bit of extra paint. Okay, cool. That's that's great. Um, is it a little is it a little heavier than what you have here? Uh yeah, kind of. Okay, cool. Cause now you can actually mix that. So in the package um that I gave out, you have one of these palettes. So we're definitely gonna use these palettes. The colors we're gonna use today are pretty simple. We're gonna use our white. So you can put that in your palette right now. We're gonna use some white. I'm actually gonna mix between the two. So if you happen to have another a secondary white that's a little bit thicker, mix that up. We're gonna use the color white. We're gonna use um, black. We're going to use yellow and orange, okay? So, I mean, whenever you feel like joining on camera, <laughs> I'm not gonna force you to, but you can come on. So I'm just setting up my palette right now with the colors that I'm gonna need. It's the black, the white, yellow and orange. So right now, what size canvas you're working on? The eight by 11 or the 12, not 12 by 12, but the square canvas? Um, the square canvas. Okay, cool. So this is a 12 by 12 canvas, canvas sorry. And um, this is pretty much a framed canvas. I don't wanna really take it out, but I'll try, hold on. I'll just slide it out. So this is my framed canvas. And you can get these at uh, Five Below, a Dollar Tree, or Michael's, things of that nature. So I'm gonna put my paints and y'all let me know when you have your paints ready and out, okay? Okay, guys, I don't okay. hear nothing. I'm gonna put some music on too. You know, it's a vibe, okay? Art is a vibe. We're gonna get creative. And this is gonna be pretty, pretty simple. So right now it's like a paint and sip mo moment without the sip, okay? Unless you have a bottle of water or some juice, something. We're gonna get that and we're gonna get the tunes going in a second. So I'm just laying out my paints real quick. Now, these are really, really runny and watery paints. So I said I was going to just work with the thicker paint that I have. I'm going to put it a little bit on the white and the black. These are the colors that I need to be opaque. Okay. I need those colors to be really, really dark. So first things first, we're going to take a brush. I know you see the set of brushes like this. You can either take this foam brush or maybe this brush right here. I'm gonna use my wider brush because I have a bigger canvas. And I am going to use my white as a base. 
Now, I don't want to put way too much product on the canvas, but you know, I want to put just enough. And you'll see how that works. I'm going to put wet up my brush like so. And I'm going to just lay this all over my canvas like so. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to saturate my canvas. So when I add the other paints, it's not so runny, okay, and streaky. Got it? As I do that, let me put a little bit of music on. If you have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask. We're just coating our canvas with the white. We're not using a lot. We're just using a little bit because we want it to dry. Question? Do you have a question? Yeah. Do we have a um clean version? <laughs> it's not. It is clean. No. Oh, it is. It is clean. Okay. Cool. It's the radio edit. I'm I'm used to party going off. My fault. <laughs> oh no no no! I, I have a whole list of clean music. I mean, it's, <laughs> and it's, and it's gonna change. Okay, guys. So the music is gonna change from. R&B and hip hop to, you know, some Zen stuff. But it's, and she's saying abs. It's the radio edit. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We got. It. <laughs> I know it's always questionable with her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Did everybody get that done? If you on um regular paper, it's okay. You don't have to really do this part. You can kind of skip it. So today we're doing paint. Next week we'll probably do another another canvas painting or maybe uh fabric. Uh, I'm not too sure, but we do sketching as well. So just keep that in mind. So everybody's um, canvas is coated. Naima? Yes, both of ours are coated. Okay, and hopefully everybody has some water on the side. Right? Do you happen to have water on the side? No, 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 yes, no. Because sorry, we, yeah, I do. You do? Wait, I'm sorry, what did you ask? Do you have water on the side so you can clean your brush as we go? Oh, I can get it right now. Yes, yeah, so make sure you have uh, a cup of water so you can clean the brushes as we go because if you let the paint dry on the brush, it's going to ruin your brush and you're not gonna be able to use it. Also, paper towels are great to have on the side as well. You don't need that many, but it is really, really good. So when you wet your brush, and you clean it, get all the excess water out your brush, and then you can pat it dry, like so. Okay, because we don't want to do watercolor as of yet. We just want to keep our paint nice and opaque and thick. Even though this is a thin um, and liquidy paint, we're going to create it. We're going to make it thicker by layering. Okay, so now that that is done, let me know when your sister is back with the water, okay? Yeah, she's back. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna jump into one of these brushes. I wanna say it's a brush similar to this. And what we're gonna do is, we are gonna, again, take our white, and we're going to create a circle in the center of our canvas. Why you like white on top of white? Don't fret, OK? There's a reason why I'm doing this. This is an old brush. I have to twist it. OK, so now that I have this paint, 
on my brush, I'm gonna dip into this yellow. Now, what I'm gonna do is, where my circle is, I'm gonna go a half inch on that part and a half inch up, okay? And now I'm going to drag this paint around. And this is about two inches wide, okay? And I'm just going to concentrate on getting the color nice and blended. I need to add some paint. I'm gonna add some paint. You have a secondary brush. You can make that white blend into the center, like so. Simple enough, can you see? It's kind of difficult for me because I have to paint at an angle. I'm sure the stuff is right in front of you. <laughs> it's a little difficult. Okay, and now I have a brush here that I'm just gonna dip into my white because I wanna make sure the center is white and then I'm going to continue to blend into my yellow. So I don't have any harsh lines. Okay. Y'all gonna show me where you're at? <laughs> Can I see? Continue, but turn the camera off so I can see where we're at. So I blended it out a little bit more. Before it was two inches, and now it's about two and a half inches out. Let's see, can you see that? So I didn't show you what we're doing because I'm gonna freestyle some paint and zip vibes, okay? Tell me when you're done with that step. Yeah, we're done. Okay, and I definitely forgot we were supposed to say our affirmations. So I need you to repeat after me, as you already know. I am smart. You don't have to do it on, um, you don't have to do it on here. You don't have to unmute yourself, but just say it. I am smart, I am beautiful, I am focused, I am not average not mediocre, I am talented, I am gifted, I am a creator who is creative, and I will be productive and get ish done, okay? So now that we have that, we're gonna add our orange. We're gonna dip into our orange, and we're not cleaning off our brush, okay? So we're gonna do the same step. We're gonna take it about a half an inch onto the yellow and a half an inch out the yellow okay now you're gonna just go around let me try to turn this over a bit and get our orange around about three inches okay so we want it to be three inches this is about an inch one two and three so this is where we would have our color stop, okay? We just add that. We go around and we're blending out at the moment. And then we'll start to blend in. And so it's not streaky, we wanna do long strokes, okay? Round strokes, consistent strokes. Right, 
consistent strokes around. And you see, it's a little patchy right here. I want to bring this up a little closer. But this is the way my easel is set up. It's a little, a little strange. <laughs> okay. So if you can see that, it's a little patchy right here, but that's okay. What we're going to do is we are just going to wipe off our brush a little bit. We're not going to add no water. We're just going to wipe it off with our paper towel. Take the majority of the color off, but not completely. We're going to dip into our yellow. And then we, we are going to go right here where the harsh part is at. And we're going to blend in and out. In and out. Now we're going around, we're going out, 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 out. And we still have that harsh line. We're gonna get rid of that, but then we're gonna clean our brush at this point. Okay, once we get that color, blend in a little bit. And do that. So if you don't mind, can you show me how far you got, please? If you are working with, uh, something other than paint that's fine it could be crayons pastels whatever it is or it could be a pencil you're gonna shade from light to dark and you can use your finger or you can use a tissue to blend that out i'm just cleaning my brush a bit i actually use this brush because it's thinner just gives me more control. So I'm using a thinner brush, cleaning this a little bit. Is anybody gonna show me? Nobody's gonna show me? Y'all wanna show me? What do you got? Okay, so I'm gonna dip back into my yellow. And I am just gonna go where this harsh line is. And I'm going to just try to blend that out. If you need to, you can add a little bit of white. I kind of want to have just a tad bit of color as I blend it out. Just so it kind of marries. I came from nothing, I had to go get it. I had to finesse up the gangway. I didn't get everything for that I love who's stuck in the chain game. He's so weird, I'm steady watching all the yelling out gang game. He's so different, I'm watching be yelling out bang bang. Roll up the Pluto, you can be DJ around around Uno. I know some people hustle with quick because they were doing too much. Okay, so now I'm just streaking it. So I'm just trying to get this orange into this area oh my gosh what's wrong with the song the music all right wait i'm gonna go back to the uh instrumentals even though it is the clean edits it's just a little much just give me a second all right, I'm gonna wipe off this brush and I'm gonna go back to my thicker brush and I'm going to, I'm just gonna push this back a little bit. I'm gonna get my red and I'm gonna add a little bit of red to my palette, like so. Just a little bit. If you wanted to thicken this up, if you had like powder, baby powder or something, you can do it. But then you can also get a medium that um, can thicken the paint. Just like, you know, you can thin out a paint, you can use something to thicken it up. A small amount of powder could do that. All right, so now I'm back into my palette and I'm taking this red and I'm gonna just Put some of this red right here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this orange and I'm just going to mix it because I don't need a whole lot of it. I just need a little bit, okay? Go from the outside 
about two and a half inches. And I just make that my perimeter. So now I'm gonna just go in with the red that I placed there, okay? And I'm going to cover all this outside part with the red. Okay, so I'm gonna blend that out in a second. Now, if you have a frame, you sort of wanna go on the side, but if you're working on something flat with no frame, no box, you can just go off the, off the actual canvas. Let me add a little bit more red. Okay. So I'm just getting it all over the page, right? Using long, consistent strokes just to make sure it's completely saturating the canvas and covering up the area that I want it. Whoops. You gotta hold that. Let me pick this up. So I can hold my canvas better. I'm just adjusting it so it holds it in place so I'm not moving all over the place. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing with the red. Now, I'm going to clean that big brush or if you have a secondary uh, big brush like that, you can just use this, the other brush. I think you do. I think there's like two of each brush. I'm not mistaken. So I'm just cleaning out my brush and I'm gonna dip into my orange and I'm gonna take it from this area, an inch in on top of this orange part I have and then out and then I'm gonna blend it all the way out. So I'm dipping into my orange. And I'm taking it nice and around. Oh, I got some yellow in there. I wasn't looking. And I'm just going to It's so hard painting at an angle. Is my hair in the way? Hard painting at an angle, so I'm gonna just chop it up a little bit. So I'm still using my orange, and I am just blending that into my red because I want it to be nice and seamless. It's still wet, so that should work. How's everything going for y'all? Talk to me. Talk to me, people. How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. <laughs> Very good. Can I see? Can you show me? Okay, so this little area right here, I'm just going to use. Who is that? Okay, I'm just going to use some more, some more of this orange and blend it into this red like this. Okay. I'm 
we do that so it's a little seamless so we don't see where it starts or ends okay and i'm just lightly you know coloring the sides of my frame okay same thing here i'm going to take a little bit of yellow because i lost my yellow a bit and i'm going to add it wherever i see that harsh line I do want to differentiate like the colors and how they blend in, but I don't want to go overboard. So I'm using this yellow oh, here. And I'm going to use a little bit more yellow right here in this area. I'm trying to blend that out. Now I'm adding a little bit of this yellow on the outer edges. Into my red a little bit, into my orange. Use my orange right there. Right here where it's clamped, it's holding my um, paint. So I'm not gonna be able to paint that till after. But you get the idea, right? Okay. Now I'm going to try to move this a little bit, back it up for detailing purposes. Okay, so this part, I'm just going to blend a little bit of red. Try to make it very cohesive. A little bit more red at the bottom. Y'all don't want to show me your work today. Oh, what's going on? Okay. So I wasn't able to, you know, color this edge, but that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to clean my brush. Wipe it off. Lay it down. Make sure I got all the paint out of my brush. Lay it down so it can air dry. And I'm gonna take my smaller brush that I had. I'm gonna dry it down because I don't need it wet. I'm gonna dry it down. And I'm gonna dip into that white. Go into my white and blend outwards. Went into my white, blend outwards. And that is that. So this is what your canvas should be looking like. If you need more time, let me know. I'm gonna try to, cause I can't see is this side. So I need to be blended out a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Do you need some more time or, or are we good to go to the next step? Okay, so I'm gonna just move on. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, Lucas is here. Hey, Lucas. Hi, I'm so sorry I couldn't join earlier. It was just uh, I was in a last minute meeting with my teacher to review a test. I really apologize. Though. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Just in your schoolwork, this is re recreation, okay? This is that comes first, okay? <laughs> so you have all your, think. Um, all your supplies out? I will get them now. I have them beside me. 
Okay. So I'll just wait a few. In the meantime, in between time, where's Naima? <laughs> where's Naima? How are you doing? Naiza? Oh, I said it wrong. I think I did. Ugh. How are you doing there? I'm just going to put some music on because you have me talking to myself at the moment. <laughs> um, so while Lucas gets his um, supplies, I'm going to put an instrumental. I have my supplies now. Okay, great. So you can use the smaller canvas because it'll be, you'll catch up a little bit faster. What I did was I used, I don't know if you opened up your paints, but these paints are really, really runny and light. So it's gonna be a little difficult to work with, but not so much. What we're gonna do, you're gonna do is you're gonna coat your canvas, right? the small square one, coat your canvas with some white. So you're gonna take the thickest brush in, in your kit, which would probably be this. And you're just gonna coat a very light, thin layer of paint, white paint all over your canvas. After you do that, you're gonna circle in the center with the white, okay? Let me know when you complete that and then we'll move on to the yellow. Right. Or if you got it, you feel like you have it, you work the yellow just about two inches out outward, okay? So let me know where you're at with that. So now I'm gonna get into my black. So I had the regular black and then I had my thicker black because as we already know, this black is runny, but I'm gonna do it with both, okay? So I'm gonna take this black right here, as you can see, and I have my thicker version, my heavy acrylic paint black. I have that on the other tray. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to start with a branch. It's not bad, actually. I'm using the one that's runny. You might just have to layer it, let it dry and do it again. So I'm gonna go up. And create my tree. And because I have to wait till this dries, I'm gonna work on some other lines, okay? So let's see what I got. What I got here, I'm getting some music. Just give me a second. And you guys let me know if you can hear me or not over this. Okay. Creating another line, it's another tree. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. If you want me to see your work, 
that would like to see your work, please show me. Lucas, keep me updated on how far you got. Now I'm using a medium to, yeah, this is a small brush actually. This is probably one of the thinnest brushes you'll find in your brush kit, I believe. You can use this or you can use a brush like this. Okay, so this is the brush I'm using. It's kind of curved and angled funny. Or you can use a brush similar to this. Okay, this is a square brush, brush, and it'll allow you to have some more control. Like that's an old brush, so I'm gonna just open up this brush set. You can get this at five below for five dollars. Or Michael for about seven dollars. Okay. I'm gonna take this brush. I'm going to take this brush right here. It's very thin, as you can see. And I am just going to use this for a little bit more control. It's a little thinner than the brush I started out with. There we go. And I start from the bottom up. Right now, I'm just working on my trees. Let's see, it lets you create a thin tree, a thick tree. Like so. I want to get it nice and thin. And just work the brush. Can you see that? Okay. So I'm gonna do. I think I want something coming out from this corner right here. I want it nice and thick. I'm going to do it on my frame. You're off. How far are you, Lucas? Did you cover it? So I just finished covering the square with white paint. I'm going to start making the circle now with the yellow paint. Okay, so this center part is white. You start your circle with the white. Then right. you go two inches out and then work your paint all around in with the color yellow, okay? Okay. And then I go to orange and then to red? Correct. Okay, thank you. No problem. Well, let's see what is going on here. Okay, how my thing. 
Now, like I said, I'm gonna go over this black, but first I'm just putting it down. It looks it looks opaque, but when I go up real close, it, it's not, it's a little spotty. But that's okay. This painting takes time. Yeah, so this is all I'm doing, just creating my lines, my trees, my stems, my branches, I mean, my branches. Okay. And we're going to just exaggerate this tree. Okay, we're just going to add another one. Right here. Exaggerate the tree branches. Maybe it's a cherry blossom tree. Maybe. Who knows what kind of tree is that? Pretty trees with the nice little leaves and the gathering effect. Will also look spaced out. I just wanted to take this all the way over here, exaggerate it. Okay. So Lucas, because you came in so late, I can like email you the steps. If you don't think it's that, it's pretty simple. <laughs> the basics. Okay. And I'm making my trunk a little bit thicker. Right here. I want this this one to really really stand out. Okay. Now we're gonna just add some more branches. I made a little boo boo right there. <laughs> I thought it was black. I thought I dipped into the black, but it wasn't. But that's okay. So we're going to just add some texture to our tree. And the way we're going to do that, we'll just draw a line up and then we're going to just tap. We are going to just tap the edge of our brush. and then drag it up. Since I have that white there, there's no mistakes. No mistakes in art. Right. So. Okay, I'll just add a little bit of white right there. Now, it would have looked way, way, way better if it was still just black, but it's all good. Extra 
Color. What time is it? We have literally. Sorry. We have literally like. Let me lower that all the way. No, I'm not gonna do that. Hold on. Let me just stop it. We have about eight seconds. I mean, eight minutes left. But I'm just adding this white to my tree. Okay. Maybe another branch right there. My finger was on the paint. Let me try to clean this paint up real quick. Get a little bit of that orange. You can always fix. See, if you mess up, it's okay because you can always go back and fix it. I don't want to do, I'm going to add some yellow, but not at the moment. Let's just work on this. Okay. Just adding a little bit of white. If you want to keep it solid black, that's fine. You can do that. I'm getting back into my black. You can keep it solid black. And all I'm gonna do is just bring this out a little bit. And now I'm going to get to my white. I'm gonna change my brush. Let me show you. That wasn't a good idea because I didn't get to show you up close. You couldn't really see how to make that little patchy effect, giving it texture. So I'm gonna just black that out because from afar, it just looks crazy. I'm looking in there and I'm like, it doesn't look great. So we'll just add black until I get the other, when I have the camera face down on top of the desk, then I can show you how to do that effect and how to create the leaves on the trees that you wanted. Naima, if you're still here. So right now I'm just going over, I'm leaving some white spots. Okay, so when I go, I'm gonna take this other brush right here. And this is a more, curved round brush. Let me show you. Real quick. <laughs> this is the type of brush I'm talking about. And I'm going to dip into this white. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add a little Specs. Okay, I'm tapping my brush, nothing too thin, doing different sizes with the, the tip of my brush. Okay, if I want them thicker, then I'll just go down further. Okay, if I want it smaller, I'm going to just take the tip of my brush like that. Got it? Everyone's there? Y'all so quiet today. I don't know what's going on. It's so quiet. Okay. So 
I'm just doing that on a few. Like so, like that. And then I can add different colors if I like to that as well. Okay. I'm not being very strategic on where I'm placing it. I'm just placing them because I know we have like three minutes left, okay? But I'm going from big to small, stippling on some leaves, some cherry blossoms. I'm just making it a little bit more wider. Then I will add a secondary color to this. But that's to your discretion, whatever color you would like. You see what I'm doing here? I am just taking the tip of my brush, tapping, and just adding a cluster, okay? It's very simple. Minimal amount of work, just adding a cluster. And same thing here. Along my, my leaves. Okay. So, for the most part, this is our first painting. I didn't add the secondary color because we don't have enough time. Um, but I hope you enjoyed creating this painting. If you want, I can email you my version. You can email, I would love for you to email me your version. I would love for you to email me your version. I am going to post this up real quick. Not actually, I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm gonna put my name, not my name, but my email. And most of you have my email already in the chat. Leticia Charade at gmail.com. It's in the chat. So you can send me your picture, your finished picture. And I can put it on the doors um, page or site, something to that nature. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this class. I know the music was a little rocky at first, but here is our finished product. And remember, always sign your work. You can either sign in the back or in the front. I'm gonna do the lower side right here. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see